his corny jokes and silly songs. Do you want to hear one now? Do you have any on me? No, I can't think of a quirk at all. <laughs> Next question. Well, I would be more careful in uh, my driving techniques because over the years I know I've hit a pole, a tree. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Mom? Cut. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I've hit um, two parked cars, ran through a garage door, and Johnny had to fix them all. Total to Pulsar. Oh yeah, forgot about that one. Roll, roll it in a big deep ditch. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> what about you? I would be one thing I would change, I would be more sensitive to my, my wife's feelings. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and that's probably the main thing. Oh, thank you. Other than that, I wouldn't change a thing. All the way from the beginning, or to the beginning. Yeah, because I think the very first Christmas, you didn't get me a Christmas present, and that really hurt my feelings. This is getting bad. <laughs> Absolutely, Johnny does them on purpose, and I do them by accident. We could give lots of examples. For instance, all the silliness and the funny faces and uh, that kind of thing. He does that all the time. Mine are accidental things, like getting the lawnmower stuck between trees, running the lawnmower over a soccer ball we were going to some strangers house to look at their wood burning stove and they had a their living room was you know the sunk uh had a step down you was focused on looking at the stove but you missed the step and here you go rolling through their living room <laughs> true I'm and sure they thought, oh, no, lawsuit. <laughs> well, it was our, our faith, our love for each other, our commitment, forgiveness, faith, love, commitment, forgiveness, faith, love, commitment, forgiveness. What do you think? Giving 100%. Mm -hmm. All of that and more. Uh, the rough times are going to come. Things get going rough. Take time. Pull aside and understand one another. Get things running smooth again. There's a song that says... Life's too long to live like this. <laughs> you know, if you love each other, the good times far outweigh the bad. One thing I wished I had done earlier on was not take everything so seriously. You know, be lighthearted. Don't take everything so seriously because I think sometimes when you're young, you think everything's about you and generally it's not. If you can have a light heart, and find humor and things, your journey is going to be much more wonderful. And we've kind of learned that as we go along, and that's why it's it's even better, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I know it's good. I know. Yeah. Our looks. The fact that he's my best friend has not ever changed. 
our faith in God has has been constant and growing, and our relationship with one another has not stayed constant. It it's grown. So marriage is not constant. I mean, you may stay married. That's the only thing I guess that actually is constant. We stayed married. When, when I was young and stupider, I would uh, get very emotional. I raised my voice quite a bit. I don't know, it used to kind of annoy me because he didn't, he didn't get very emotional and he didn't participate. I, I never could understand why he wasn't emotional when I was really emotional. I know if I get really upset, I don't do as much yelling anymore. I just go off a little ways so I can pray about things and cool off. Well, you know, sometimes I have to walk away. And sometimes there's a time to speak and there's a time to be quiet. But you can always go to the middleman, Jesus. Love you.